In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an online course with AI using a new AI online course creator. So this tool is going to help you to create the outline for your course, as well as all your modules, and then also what format you're going to want to have your lessons in. For example, if it's video or text or webinar or PDF download or quizzes and so on. Sweet. Okay, so jumping straight into it, this new AI course creator is the latest feature from GetResponse. Now, if you're not familiar with GetResponse, they are one of the most trusted and reputable email marketing platforms out there. And they've been in business as an email autoresponder and email marketing platform since 1998. But over the years, they've evolved into something more of an all-in-one platform now, as they also offer website builders, landing pages and funnel builders, a webinar feature, and now an online course creator, as well as their email marketing services. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Now, a good thing about using GetResponse is that besides having the convenience of all those tools in one account, since GetResponse's main and strongest feature is their email services and email marketing is the most important part of an online business, essentially. You'll basically have one of the best email tools out there at the center of your business with all the other marketing tools they offer nicely connected. GetResponse offer a 30 day free trial so you can test out all their features, including the AI course creator. So if you want to follow along with me in this tutorial, then you can use the link in the description below this video to get access to a 30 day free trial and you don't even need a credit card in order to get access to the free trial. Now that said, let me show you how to use this new AI course creator from GetResponse. So once you first log into your GetResponse account, you're going to see a dashboard look something like this. Come over to the top menu and click on tools. And now here we've got lots of different options, all the different features and get response. But the courses and the AI course creator is over here on the right hand side. But before we do that, the first thing you need to do is just set up your creator's profile. So you're going to need to do this before you can create your course, but it only takes about two minutes. And you basically just enter your name, a little short bio about yourself and a longer bio if you wish. Add an image of yourself and you can also add your social channels if you want to. Don't have to do that. You can also add your logo. And now here, so GetResponse will give you a domain to host your courses on, but it's going to be a subdomain of GetResponse. So the better option actually is to connect your own custom domain, which you can do here. And when you first sign up to GetResponse to use the AI course creator, they'll actually give you a free custom domain free for the first year. So that's also worth taking advantage of. Oh, definitely. Definitely, man. And now here are some SEO settings if you want your courses to rank in search engines like Google or Bing. And then when you're done, click save and your profile is set up. So really simple. Now at this point now, we can go to tools and go to courses. And now we can start to create our online course using AI. Now here's a course I've already got set up that I created just as a demo. So if I click on this, I'll show you what it's going to look like. So this is what people will be able to see before they purchase your course. But before I show you this, if I click back one step on my name. So on this page will be displayed where all my courses are displayed. So I had multiple courses here that will be displayed underneath each other here. And here is our bio that we've just set up with a connection to our social accounts. And now on this overview of the course, you can see some information like number of lessons, number of modules, and the cost of the course. I've just set this one to free at the moment. And if we click on details, now it's going to show your customers a bit more detail on what the course is about. It's going to show the person each of the modules. And I've also set the first lesson of the first module as a free preview. So if you are selling this course, of course, I've marked this free at the moment, but if I was to sell this and I've set one of my modules or one of my lessons as a free preview, then my customers will be able to watch that first lesson to get more of an idea if they actually want to buy the whole course. Very nice. And down the side here, just set up some more information to tell customers what's in the course. For example, number of modules, number of lessons. It's in video format. There's also some audios and PDFs and graphics and so on in there. So this is all nicely displayed. And there's your bio at the end where people can find out a bit more about you. So jumping back into the course creator, if we want to create a new course, we come to this button here that says create course. And now here on this page, we've got two options. First one here, if you were to choose add module, you basically set your course up manually without using AI, which of course you can do if you want to. Fuck that. And then GetResponse will just host your course for you. Or if you want to use GetResponse's AI features to create your course, then we click this button here. And the first prompt here is to let the AI know what your course is about. So I'm going to do another dummy course here to show you guys how to set this up. So this time I'm going to create a course on how to build and monetize niche websites. So I'm going to put the name, the title of my course in here, click generate. And now the AI is going to come up with a whole course outline for us and individual lessons in each of the modules. So now looking over in the left sidebar here, here is the outline for our course. These are the different modules that GetResponse has created for us. And of course you can change and delete and add modules as you wish. This is just an outline for you to get started. So the first one is introduction to niche marketing. 
And if we open this, these are different lessons that are in this module. So the first one is a video module about what is niche marketing. Then there's a PDF about the benefits and there's some text as well. And these are the different formats that you can have inside your course. So if you particularly wanted, for example, an audio lesson in here as well, I can click add lesson and then select audio lesson here. And that pulls the audio lesson into module in the left sidebar. And here is where I can drop my audio files in here. Now, if we look at this text module here, Get Responses AI has already written the whole text out for us already. And then of course you can just edit this and remove anything that you don't want in here. And then once you're happy with that lesson, you just toggle on the ready button. And now that lesson is ready and live. Now, when it comes to other types of formats of lessons, for example, if we click on the video element here, you're still going to have to record and upload your own videos. You can drag them, drop them in here. Now you've got two options here. You could either create your videos with AI or you can record the videos yourself. So depending on what type of video you want to do, if it's videos with you in them, of course, you're going to have to record them yourself. Or if you're doing over the shoulder tutorials and screen shares, then you just record those yourself and then upload them here by dragging and dropping them into this space. Alternatively, if you want to create your videos using AI, then you would need to use another tool external from GetResponse, for example, like Pictree AI or NVIDIA AI. Both those tools are great if you want to create faceless videos or if you want to turn articles into videos or text to video. And if you want to create PowerPoint videos, then Pictree AI is the one you want to go for. So I have videos on my channel that show you exactly step by step how to use both of those video creation tools. And I've linked both of those videos up in the description below this video. So it's easy for you to find them if you want to check them out and create your videos using AI. Then, of course, once you've created those videos, you just drag them and drop them in this space to add them to your course and get response. And then when it comes to the audio files, you can, of course, either record those audio files yourself and then upload those files by dragging and dropping into this space. Or if you want to create your audios with AI, then Murph AI is a great tool for realistic human sounding voices. And I also have another video on my channel that shows you step by step how to use that tool to create realistic voiceovers. And I'm showing that video on the screen right now. And that video is also linked in the description below this video if you're wanting to create your audios with AI. So then once you name this lesson and you've added your audio file in here, you can also use this button here to generate content with AI. So if you also want this lesson to have audio and text on it, get responses AI is going to write the text for you and then click generate. And now here's your content to go along with your audio file. And of course you can do the same thing with any of the other modules. So if you've got your video in here, you can upload your video and then get the AI to also generate the text to accompany your video. So currently we're on the first lesson of the course. So if you want to set this as a free preview, all you need to do is check that button here so that before someone buys the course, they can actually watch that first lesson for free to help them make a decision if they actually want to buy your course or not. And also, if you want to set this lesson as a prerequisite that they have to watch this lesson before they're able to watch any of the other lessons in the course, of course, once they've purchased the course, then you can set this to a prerequisite, which means they won't be able to watch any other lessons yet until they've watched this first one. So that is up to you, of course, if you want to activate that or not. Then toggle this on to ready once that lesson is ready and good to go. OK, so now let's see how good a job the AI did on creating these other modules and lessons for us. So module number two is researching profitable niches. And if we look at the lessons within, we've got keyword research techniques, using tools for niche research, analyzing market demand. And there's a PDF here on niche validation checklist. So that sounds pretty good to me. Then the next module is building your niche site. So choosing the right platform, central plugins and tools, creating quality content, web design, best practices. Then we've got the monetization module and the lessons within. We've got affiliate marketing, selling digital products, sponsored content and ads, diversifying your income streams. Sounds great. This is sounding pretty good. Then next module, driving traffic to your niche site. So the AI reckons we should include lessons on SEO strategies, content marketing techniques, social media promotion and using email marketing. And then we've got a module on analyzing and optimizing module on scaling your niche business and then conclusion and next steps. This is brilliant. So I think this is a pretty solid outline. And of course, if there's anything that you feel you need to add in here, you can just do that very easily by adding new lessons. And at the end of any course you create with GetResponse, you also have this completion page, which is nice. It's a page that just says congratulations to your students and gives them a certificate as well at the end, which is a nice touch. Now, if you have your own certificate already, you can just select this option here and upload your own certificate if you want. Or if you want to create a new certificate now within the Get Response library, you've got lots of certificate templates you could choose from. So it is quite a nice touch. And any template you choose, you can just click on it. If I click on Use Template, I'd name the template and then I'll get the option to edit that template. So pretty simple. And because I'm the course owner, Get Response has already created this little fancy looking digital signature for me, just as a little token to go on the certificate. So this is pretty nice. 
and then click finish on that. And we're going to exit out of this page and come back to our course. So heading back to our course, when it comes to different lessons, if you've got a lesson in a webinar format like this one here, for example, then you can use Get Responses built in webinar feature to create the webinar, which is super handy. So just by clicking on the webinar button, here is where you can set up your webinar. Within Get Response, I've got the option to either create live webinars, on demand webinars, or I can just use pre recorded webinars. And I can see all the reports on all the information about my webinars. Anyway, back to our course. Another nice feature we can also add into our courses as a lesson is a quiz. So this is great for improving interaction and engagement and also testing your students as well. So here is a quiz that the AI has already created for us. And we can start from scratch and delete it and create our own quiz if you want to. Now, this quiz is in the analyzing and optimizing performance module. And the AI has created five questions with the answers. Now, any lesson at all, anytime you want to preview and see what it looks like on the front end, what your students are going to actually see, just come up to this preview tab and toggle this on. And now this is what our quiz is going to look like to our students. Now, what I particularly like about this quiz feature is that if you answer it wrong, the quiz is going to tell you why it's the wrong answer. So your students can actually learn from the quiz. And if they answer it correctly, again, the quiz is going to tell them why it's the correct answer. So here, for example, the first question, if I choose A and then hit confirm on my choice, the quiz is going to tell me that's the correct answer and the reason why it's the correct answer. And if I go to the next step, now, if I get this one wrong, then the AI is going to tell me why it's wrong. So this is pretty cool and it looks nice. It's a nice format, nice layout. I like this. Anyway, heading back to the build mode of our course, I'm going to toggle this preview mode back to off and now we're back in the editor for our quiz. And if I want to change any of these questions, I can just add or delete anything I wanted to in here. Very simple. Anyway, once you're happy with your whole content of your course, you've uploaded all your videos and your audio and so on, you just need to make sure that you've toggled all of the lessons here from draft to ready. And then once that's the case, then you can go to the next step, the top right, and I'll show you some more cool things we can do with this course. So now here we can set the name of our course and then set our pricing if you want to offer it as a free course or one-time payment for course or subscription. Now I'm currently still using the free trial at the moment, which is why I've only got the option to create a free course right now. Once I've upgraded to a paid plan with GetResponse, then I have the option to actually sell my course. And by choosing any of these options, once you select the option, you then get the option to connect your payment gateways like PayPal and Stripe. Really simple, with a couple of clicks of the button, add those payment gateways, set your price, and then you're ready to actually start taking payments for your course. Then we have the course page, and this is here where we can add a thumbnail for our course, give it a description, set the language and level if it's intermediate, beginner or advanced, and the category of what the course is in. Let's just put this in here for now. So that'll be our cover. Now here under course ratings, if I've got this on, then this gives students the ability to rate our course and leave reviews on it as well. So each time they rate it, they can rate it out of five. And ideally, as long as you've created a good course, you've got good quality content in there, because really you want to use AI to help speed up the process and outline everything. But the actual meat of your course should actually be your content. So that said, your students can then rate your courses then other people can see how good your courses are as voted by your students, which is going to encourage more sales for you. And here is your course page link. So if you're just using the default domain that GetResponse gives you, which is a subdomain of GetResponse, then this is going to be set and you can just change the extension. However, I do absolutely recommend, certainly if you're selling this course, just use the custom domain. And when you sign up for GetResponse, you're also going to get a free custom domain for the first year anyway. So you might as well take advantage of that. And here's the SEO settings. So your courses will actually rank in Google and other search engines. Now, this part is really cool because GetResponse is also an email marketing platform. You can set this up for GetResponse to actually automatically create an email follow up series for you, for your customers when they purchase your course, which is pretty cool. So here you can select which list you want your students to be added to. So if you've got an existing list within your GetResponse account, you select this option then you select which list. Or if you want GetResponse's AI to create a new list for you automatically and then add those students to that list, you just select the first option here. Now, if you do choose the option of adding your new students to a list you already have, the autoresponder here, you can select whereabouts in the autoresponder cycle you want to add them to. For example, if you want to add them from email number three or email number five in that sequence or whatever. So you may want to do that if you've already got a list set up. I'm going to leave it set to create a new list automatically. Now here is asking which students do you want to add to your email list? So the options are all students or only students who check a checkbox at the point when they sign up. So this is for GDPR and CCPA regulations. This just helps you to stay legal, and make sure you're only emailing people that you're actually legally allowed to. So I'm going to leave that on all students for now and the checkbox and it's going to check yes. And here is where you can add your consent field and your privacy policy statement. 
And then when you're ready to go, you click publish. Oh, it's wanting me first to select that free option. So I'm going to select the free option because that's the only option I currently have. Or well, one more thing that you can also add, which is pretty cool, is this course format and resources. So here is where we can tell people on the sales page of this course more detail about what's actually in it. So for example, if I just show you this other course that I've already got set up here, this dummy course. So down here in the side, this is all the information that people can see. First of all, they can see all the modules that are going to be in your course. And then down the side here, once it's got ratings, people see the rating. They can see the difficulty level, the language, how many students were enrolled. You can take that off or leave it on. Number of modules, number of lessons. And of course, any of these, you can remove them or leave them on. And now here is where we can let people know how many videos, how many audio files, how many PDFs, how many graphics and how many additional resources are also in our course, which is pretty nice. So we do that here with a format video. Let's say we've got 20 videos in there. Next resource, let's select audio. So we've got five audio files are also in there. Next resource, PDFs. We've got, say, three PDFs in there. And instruction materials, let's say we've got two of those. And graphics, let's say we've got perhaps 10. And then when I click on publish, we'll be able to publish our course. And I'll show you what it looks like to customers. So at this point, GetResponse is giving you the option also if you want to create a website for this course or a landing page. So you can also do that within your account. I'm going to say no to that just for now. I can always come back to that and do it later. So this is the new course we've just set up. Now, if I want to view this course, I can click on the URL. It's going to bring us to the page of that course. So here is the write-up and the image of our course. Here is all the information about the course. And this is the last details we just added, telling people that there's five audios. Oh, I put this in the wrong category. It's supposed to be 20 videos. But anyway, you get the idea. And then here is all the modules that is in our course. And if I go back one stage at the top here, where it has my name, if I click on my name, now we're going to see all my courses listed on this page. So customers can see in one place all the courses I sell and they can select any of my courses to get more information and then click on the button to purchase the course. So there you go. That's how you can create an online course with AI using GetResponse's new course feature. Now, it's a really easy tool to work with. It's actually really fun. It's going to massively cut your course creation time down from what could potentially be months to perhaps weeks or maybe even days, depending on how long your course is. Now, of course, you're going to still need to create the core content yourself so that your videos and your audio files and things like that. But even so, this is going to massively speed up the process and put your course together in a professional looking format as well. Now, if you want to check this tool out yourself and give it a go, you can get a 30 day free trial without needing to enter your credit card and link is in the description below this video to get access to that free trial. Now, if you've got value out of this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. And if you want more recommendations, demonstrations and tutorials on different AI tools to help you grow your business, then you can check out my AI playlist on my channel right here.